what is in a name? The Hebrew describes it as something that memorializes the identified. The name appoints the man to a task as a servant to the Father. One defined in Revelations 19.13, he was clothed in a vesture, dipped in blood, and his name was called the Word of God. Notice it reads not that his name is the Word of God. That would define deity of John 1.1, 1, 1, which is the Father that became flesh. And this defines the conspicuous position to this servant that is instructed to remain undercover in the previous verse 12. It reads, He had a name written, but no man knew but he himself. Here you can be certain, this is not the name of Jesus, a name that belongs to the Father, that all men know. In the end, writers attempt to force this in, but it does not fit. We won't know his name yet, but we can know the nature of his position. Found in Isaiah 11.4 He shall smite the earth with the rod of his mouth, and with the breath of his lips he shall slay the wicked. This image of the destroyer has become a painted picture in the minds of all that with proper keys can easily be changed. To smite the earth means to correct the course. With the rod, the proper selected Hebrew word is with a writer's instrument. By his mouth is to mean the use of the sound of his voice, and the sheep will recognize it. To the rest they become publicly humiliated, the Hebrew meaning for lips. This will slay them. The word means the destroyer. The surname given to a decipher unless you envisioned a man chewing on a pencil while correcting papers pulled from a little black book, you have erred in vision and foolish hearts were darkened. It was the bitterness that John was allowed to taste, but not right down. This work would be completed in its time by a decipher. Revelation 10.4 When the seven thunders had uttered their voices, I was about to write, and I heard a voice from heaven saying to me, Seal up those things which the seven thunders uttered, and write them not. The word of God was not given to describe the little black book. To call it a sword would be meaningless. Without a decipher, the words were powerless. If the name presented was to a man that would become sharper than any two-edged sword, you would lose this battle. Hebrews 4.12 For the word of God is quick. This word in Hebrew is strength and life-giving. And powerful defines his perceptions. This is echoed back in Isaiah 11.3. The Lord shall make of him a quick understanding. The Hebrew word means strong perceptions. The verse in Hebrew 4.12 continues. Sharper than any two-edged sword piercing even to the dividing. This is the beginning of the selection process. The piercing in Hebrew is the mark, and the dividing is the separation for the men that is separated to his right. The next word, asunder. The Hebrew word means to apportion. They are given levels of authority. This is how he determines those marked to the sword. He is a discerner of the thoughts and intents of the heart, strong perceptions. He reads minds and words. Verse 13, Neither is there any creature that is not manifest in his sight, but all things are naked and open unto the eyes of him with whom we have to do with. Again, we are told of a name that is not revealed here. You see, the wicked have made peace with a name removed, a vineyard failed, a false fire, and they are consumed by a man called the Word of God. When the time comes, he will respond, I know you not. This is food that I provided to my family for years. 
I want to now share it with you. Thank you for listening and God bless you.